ready to go. Hey everyone, it's Gina Gerhard, the Recruitment Marketing Coordinator here, and I want to welcome you all to the September Service Unit Recruiter Webinar. Welcome, welcome. Tonight's presentation is going to be split up into two parts. The first part, we're going to go over some updates, and the second part is the Service Unit Recruiter Orientation for anyone who hasn't gone through that yet. Um, so it will be together for approximately a half an hour. So I, I mean, not half an hour, approximately an hour. So I hope you're excited because I am. So first, I want to welcome. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, got it. All right. So welcome, new recruiters. The orientation. Oh, also the second part of the. Um, webinar is going to cover the basics of the service unit recruiter role. So we now have 90 recruiters working to market Girl Scouts throughout Northeast Ohio. And I just want to let you know, this year, last year, around this time, we had only 20. So welcome to all our new recruiters and welcome, welcome to all of our returning. For those of you who have been with us for a while, don't forget to renew your service unit recruiter role online at your MyGS page before September 30th. I also need your signed position description if you haven't turned it in yet. Uh, the signed position descriptions um, are when it's uh, when we're, we would know when you need to renew your role, and um, this also lets the director know that you officially are on her team. We must have a signed position description on file for you and all service unit team members by October 1st. The position description describes the role you play on the service unit team, and it also is a contract which states you will not misuse confidential information about our members. It is important for all service unit team members to work together and report to the service unit director. You might want to ask your service unit director for a team roster so you know who to connect to and who the organizer and registrar are for your team. Last time we met at the service unit team ALE kickoff, we asked how many of you had seen your service unit work plans. Only a few raised your hands. Please make sure that you're at the table when goals are set so you can help map out a plan of action for marketing and recruitment in your service unit team. If you are new and you missed your goal setting meeting, be sure to communicate with your SUD or your SAMI about the goals. As you promote Girl Scouts in your community and hold recruitment events, you'll want to be able to track your successes. For example, if your service unit has a goal of recruiting 200 girls for the 2017 membership year, and you've recruited 180 so far, then you need to recruit 20 more girls to reach your service unit goal. All right, so the one thing I love most is getting together and meeting all the service unit recruiters in person. So we have seven more service unit orientation meetups gatherings coming up in October and November. So be sure to sign up for one of these on the events calendar on gsneo.org, I almost said .org slash join. <laughs> uh, so it's on the website. I also want to let you know that I have, I'm having office hours on Thursdays and Fridays of each week. Thursdays I will stay a little later because I know some people work, so I'll be um, having office hours until like 6.30, 7.30, um, and then Fridays all during the business hours. So let me know if you want me to pencil you in to my calendar and we can meet. We can meet in person, we can talk on phone, I can be available for a Facebook chat, whichever type of communication you prefer. And now we're going to talk about order fulfillment. Marketing collateral and recruitment event supplies. Marketing collateral is what you use to promote your recruitment activities. These include flyers, posters, brochures, etc. Recruitment event supplies are what you need to make the sale at your recruitment event. This includes troop leader brochures, girl activities like coloring sheets or the finger puppet craft, and incentives for signing up. 
This year we're offering a new super cute Girl Scout branded folder. There are five different to choose from, so they're super awesome. Who can create flyers? Answer, the GSNEO marketing staff. The reason for this is the Girl Scout name and logo are trademarked. Plus, GSUSA has a brand style guide that we have to follow that includes Girl Scout colors, fonts, and brand voice. The national marketing team also provides lots of pre-produced graphics for us to use in our campaigns. So please, let us produce your flyers, posters, and banners. We know that some of you have experience in marketing or advertising, and you're super creative. So please feel free to share your ideas with us. And we would love to take your ideas and put them into action and make sure that it follows the brand as uh, follows the brand. So who can request supplies? Obviously, the service unit recruiter. Why? Because you have made a commitment to your service unit team and us to be the expert for those you excuse me, to be the expert who uses resources wisely and you agreed to participate in trainings, webinars, meetings, and to read the Recruiter Weekly E-News. If your service unit team is still in the process of recruiting a recruiter for the service unit team, then the SUD or the CME can order supplies. The only other person who can order supplies is a volunteer designated by the SUD, again in the absence of a recruiter. Please do not ask other volunteers to order supplies for your service unit. Do not share the link with them. The supplies are produced and delivered to you at no cost to the service unit. We ask that only we ask that you only order what you need and don't stock up on supplies. If the supplies are used up, we may not have the budget to order new ones. So when should you request supplies? We need as much lead time as possible, ideally four weeks. Here's why. Marketing recruitment supply orders are pulled every Monday and sorted by date needed. The orders are filled over the next two weeks. This includes creating customized flyers and labels. Also, it's good to know that when you order a customized flyer or label for a sticker, I do have you proof those. So when you order something, please be on the lookout for an email from me with an attachment that will include the text of your flyer because I just want you to take a one over and let me know that it's good to go before I print off a lot of copies. So that's just a little side note. So each Friday we send a FedEx shipment at 3 p.m. or we make arrangements for supplies to go out to the service centers. Please keep in mind it takes about one to five days for shipments to be delivered. If you choose to pick up your supplies from a service center, they will be ready one week prior to the date you need them. Connect with me if you have any questions. And also, if you order supplies and you're wondering if they were shipped, I have tracking numbers for FedEx. So you can definitely email me and I can send you that tracking number so you can track your supplies, just like Santa Claus, tracking your supplies until they reach the door. All right, next slide. Resources. Okay, so you, okay, so how do you know what to order? Once you've planned your recruitment events or marketing supplies to get the word out, the call to action on the flyers will either A, direct people to the Opportunity Catalog online, or B, promote an upcoming recruitment event. You should also promote the opportunity to join by placing an announcement in the newspaper, in church bulletins, on school websites, newsletters, and the hometown marquee. Those pre-produced communications are available on the service unit resource page along with some flyers and posters. We have joined flyers, filters, and posters, customizable announcements for the newspaper, church bulletin, and school website. Girls are our best recruiters, so let them know that they can print off and color parade banners. And if your service has a Facebook or Twitter account, please use one of our cover photos. Don't forget to like our council Facebook page, turn on notifications, and share your posts and ours. Speaking of Facebook, many of you have already joined our uh, GSNEO hyphen service unit recruiter Facebook page. Um, it's a great tool to bounce ideas off each other or ask questions. If you want to do it right now, all you have to do is go on Facebook 
and look for, type in G-S-N-E-O hyphen S-U recruiters and uh, we'll accept you and then you can start your networking recruiter experience. So I'll give you a second if you want to look into uh, joining. All right, and we're back. So the Recruiter Weekly. This Friday in the Recruiter Weekly e-news, I'll be going over ideas for recruitment events. Seems like most of you have the marketing part down to a science. You hold bracelet rallies in the schools, you host information tables and booths at the events throughout your community, and you distribute flyers to your schools and churches. But you still struggle with the event itself. I'll offer some best practices and outline an event from the beginning planning phase all the way through the post-event follow-up. And just to let you know, we will be discontinuing the Recruiter Monthly E-News. So be sure to check out the Recruiter Weekly this Friday or tomorrow. It will be coming tomorrow in your mailboxes. And this is our recruitment campaign calendar. Um, hopefully you guys have seen it before. I'm going to burn it into your brain so you guys always know when we have awesome campaigns happening and upcoming. As you can see, we are right in the middle of the back to school recruitment season. This is the time when we recruit girls and volunteers to new troops and to existing troops that have vacancies on display in the opportunity catalog. We are also recruiting adults to service unit team positions in service units that don't have full teams in place. Remember, only one service unit team position per person. And we strongly encourage you build a committee of Girl Scout school liaisons to help distribute flyers, cover booths at open house and other school activities, and of course, help at events. Just remember, those helpers should go through you to order all supplies. Right, and this is a slide of some current and upcoming campaigns. Back to school, the first, so as we talk about, we're in the middle of back to school. I wanted to ask and see if anyone, if anyone wants to share any recruitment success stories that they have. Uh, you can either raise your hand or put your success in the question box. You want to share some, Gina, that you've gotten? Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. So Arliss from Hudson, she and her team hosted a recruitment event, um, I think, last month. And they started eight new troops, uh, Daisy, Brownie, and I think, they, I think it's Daisy and Brownie. They started four of each. And so they're super busy with the follow-up on that, and they're really excited. Over 100 people show up. And to get those 100 people, they passed out flyers, as well as held bracelet rallies in the elementary schools. Uh, Larissa Kozar and her team in Brunswick held a very successful recruitment event where they filled every single spot in the public schools on the Opportunity Catalog for K-5. to So that was really a popular event. Um, does anyone else have anything to share? If you guys Everyone's so quiet. I know it's because you guys are all so excited for Friday. We're just following it in. That's okay. We'll continue on. So here's what we're doing to support your recruitment efforts in mass marketing. In Canton, we are trying, we are trying to recruit over 1,000 new girls. We are, so we are doing a direct mail postcard. We are also placing Facebook ads. This is just in general, not in Canton. We're doing this all across council. Facebook ads, paid marketing emails and retargeting ads, print ads in Mahoning Magazine, Northeast Ohio Parent, and other community newspapers. We have um, created collaborations with mommy bloggers. 
um, digital ads, and more. We have two Fill the Truth flyers. Sorry, I just wanted me. We have two Fill the Truth flyers. There's one flyer to recruit to a specific troop, and there's one flyer to invite girls to a troop event. If a service unit is recruiting to fill multiple troops with vacancies, then you'll want to use the join flyer to direct them to join online using the opportunity catalog or use a customized flyer to direct them to a service unit event where they can join new or existing troops on the spot. So that's going on right now for fill the troop, which is um, another campaign. And then coming up um, in November, we are, there's going to be an Invite a Friend campaign. So this promotion is going to run from November 15th to December 15th. And like last year, the recruiter volunteer receives a $50 coupon code to girlscoutshop.com when their friend starts a new Daisy Brownie or Junior troop. The new troop leader receives a volunteer resource pack for her new troop. We will have information for you regarding collateral and other materials the first week of November. All right, next. No, I need to. All right. The opportunity catalog. If you hold a service unit recruitment event, be sure to check the Opportunity Catalog before the event. The Opportunity Catalog shows you the vacancies in real time. Keep in mind, our mass marketing machine is working 24-7 so girls and adults can join troops at any time online, even during your event. You want to make sure there are enough vacancies displayed for each grade K to five, and you want to have backup troops that can be turned on if needed. Work with your CME to build your troops in the system. And I'll do a quick demonstration of the Opportunity Catalog. So go to gsmeo.org slash the Virginia Recruiter. Girl only read only Opportunity Catalog. And I'm just going to pick a zip code because I'm in Macedonia. And here are all the troops currently in Macedonia, um, in the city of Macedonia that are accepting new girls. So you can either print this off or you can have your CME print a copy off for you and bring it to the recruitment event so that you have something visual for people to see when they're going to sign up for a troop. Um, and then there's also a read-only adult version, and so we'll do, and then these are all of the, yeah, there's a lot of pages. So we got lots of awesome volunteer opportunities for people. All right. If anyone has any questions, please raise your hand or uh, put it in the question log and we will answer it. All right, so back to this. Maybe, I was doing a PowerPoint. There we go. All right, monthly reports. So you may have noticed over the last couple of months you've been receiving reports from someone named Mandy Kohler, or Amanda Kohler. She is the administrative assistant for the volunteer support and services and she works extremely hard to pull these reports for every single service unit in the council. Ooh. The other, so some of you are maybe are wondering like, what do I do with these reports? And actually they're a really amazing tool to check troop vacancies. The troop details report and service unit roster report let you see all of your troops and vacancies on a spreadsheet that you can sort, highlight, and print out. Please be sure to check it against the Opportunity Catalog right before your event because the reports are not in real time. Beginning in October, just in a couple days, crazy to think about, GSUSA will be sending the reports automatically bi-monthly to all service unit team members. 
So please make sure you return your assigned position description and you re-up your position on your My GS profile. So if there are any questions, please raise your hand um, or write in the question log. Um, if you guys don't have anything, I thank you so much. Yeah, oh, I guess, good. All right, sorry, questions. All right, well, this is my contact information. Reach out to me anytime at G-G-E-R-H-A-R-T at G-F-N-E-O dot org. And I also would love to find out what topics you would want me to cover in the Recruiter Weekly or on the next webinar. Don't forget, my office hours are Thursdays from noon to 6.30 and Friday from 9.30 to 5. So give me a call, send me an email if you want to schedule something. And this really concludes the updates portion of the webinar. If you're a new recruiter and you need a ref or you need a refresher, please stick around and it is not going to take more than 30 minutes. So thank you all again and I hope you have a wonderful night and a wonderful weekend. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.